Ah, oh, hi! It's you! It's me! This video is not fun, but it's also not depressing. I will not let it be depressing. It's somewhere between the two. <laughs> no, it's just real. That's what, that's what we'll call it. It's a, just a real video. And as you can tell by the title, I got dumped. There's no two ways about it, and it feels shit. It happened to about two days ago. It, if I'm honest, it feels just as shit then as it does now. It's just a slightly different type of shit. Um, and, and the reason I'm making the video is because I, I, like, in my despair, the moment it happened, I tweeted saying I was heartbroken. And then everyone's like, what happened? Like, give me, give me the actual details. So here's, here's the kind of rundown of what happened. About three months ago, I was like, do you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready for a boyfriend or I'm ready to date. I'm ready for like romance and, and companionship and company. Great. So I went on a dating app and like the first day I started talking to this guy, we decided let's just meet up now. You sound great. And I looked at him and I just thought, holy shit, he is cute. I want to, I want to like be around him. I want to look after him. I want him to look after me. I just really just liked him. And that first week, when we met, we spent five days together. Five days straight. It wasn't like, oh, we're going to date this week, we're going to date that week. Five days. So I got, I feel like I got to know him really well that first week. And then we started meeting up um, once or twice a week thereafter for three and a half months. And although I kept seeing him and I really liked him and I felt like I was getting to know him more, I still felt like he had this weird barrier up that was blocking me from fully getting in no dirty thoughts it's you it's all you not me it wouldn't let me into his world because I, I would see him around his friends and he'd be like this ha 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 happy fun guy and then he'd be around me and although he'd be happy he was very reserved and not like giving me the full i'll call him i'll call him ben the full ben ben's not his real name um, so, because he would kill me if I used his real name. So anyway, I'll fast forward to th the night. Um, he came over here and we decided we'd go for dinner and I could feel that he was being a little bit like distant or cold and, and he, he does this thing where he's like sassy, you know, like bitchy, but in a funny way. And I'd always go, ha 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 ha, please be nice to me. Please just be nice. Because I, I like, I could be sassy and fun too, but when it's all the time, I'm like, okay. Just, I want a real person, you know? Um, so anyway, he was being a little bit distant. We went for dinner. And I just said to him, look, I really, really like you. Um, I don't want to not have you around, but I can sense something here. So maybe we'll just like date for a little while longer and, and maybe when you're ready, we can decide to make it more official I'm, I'm cool with waiting around or doing whatever you want to do I just want to know like what what's on your mind what do you think but he didn't really respond to me when I said that so I was like okay do you have anything to say to me about this and then he was like well you know and he just wouldn't like say it and I was like anything you want to say just please be honest with me go for it and he um he basically said, the last couple of times I've seen you, I don't feel, I don't, oh, what was the word he used? I don't feel drawn to you. I was like, what, drawn? What do you mean you don't feel drawn to me? Is it because I'm being too forward or like, you're, you're like, got, you got stuff going on in your life? And he goes, I'm, I just don't feel with you the way I felt with my ex. And I don't feel what you, now what I felt with you at the start, when we started going out. And basically what he meant was, then the penny dropped, he's, I'm not attracted to you anymore, sexually. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's hard to hear. And when you hear that, what you then transform that into is, Riyadh, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly. And also, if he had said to me, Riyadh, you're being too forward, Riyadh, stop doing this thing or that thing um, or you need to text me more. I could totally change all of those things. This and this 
I can't change. This is me. I was literally born like this. So when I heard that, I was like, fuck. This is it. So he was like, um, I hope you understand. Do you get where I'm coming from? It's not that I don't want to be around you anymore. I just don't feel the urge to, you know, touch you or kiss you. And he said, I know, I know that when you kiss me, you can feel me um, being distant. And then I was like, oh my God, yeah. When I kissed him that evening, he was like all rigid and stiff. And I was like touching the back of his head in the car. And he was not like, you know, responding. It was as if I was just touching like a drugged out puppy. He just didn't want to be touched. So, and I, I'm very tactile and I'm very upfront about everything. I Literally what you see is what you get. So then he was like, oh my God, your face, you look like you've just been slapped. You look so upset. And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. Inside I was screaming. I was like, what do I do? What do I do? I still have like this meal to finish. I've got this drink to finish. He's gonna bring me home in his car. And I just, I, kept, I held it together and I was like, everything's fine, Ben. I totally understand and thank you for being honest. And I still mean that. Like he didn't have to be that honest. He could have ghosted me and texted me on and off and le left me to be like guessing and wondering why has he left and why is he not contacting me? But he didn't, he was upfront, which is commendable. Still hurtful. So then I went in the car with him home up here, which is like a 10 minute drive. And he was like playing these like pop songs and dancing and in the car and trying to like pretend nothing had happened. And I was like, how could I possibly be like, hey, woo -hoo -hoo, let's dance to, dance to some Ariana Grande. It's like, it's not gonna happen. And like he kept like looking over, checking up on me, and I was just like trying to be. <laughs> and then we parked up out there, and I could see he was like trying to get out of the car to come into the apartment. And it's like the last thing I needed was for him to be around me because I felt unwanted, unattractive, unneeded. So like, don't, don't just come to me because you feel, you know, bad for me. I prefer to probably just be alone. And so when he tried to get a seatbelt off, I put my hand on his wrist and I was like, I think I just need to be alone tonight. And then as I said those words, I just burst out crying, uh, like ugly crying. And I was like, no, Riyadh, stop. And he goes, oh, are you okay? And he tried to like hug me and I was like, no, 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 don't. You'll make it worse. And I just started, everything I tried to say, I was trying to say through tears. I was like, Ehh! I said, I'm just in a really delicate place right now. I just, I, I feel really lonely and I don't know what to say to you. Which is true. I am feeling lonely because London is a, beautiful city but it's big and it can be a bit cold and you can feel a bit insignificant especially when you leave your family and your mates at home um but with that I just gave him a kiss on the cheek and I said goodbye which was like horrible and dramatic <laughs> like a fucking movie and then I walked out and I I tried to like walk as composed as possible back to my door because I knew he was watching me from behind and I came in and I had the lights off and I could see out in the distance he parked out there for 15 minutes just sitting in the car and half of me was like please please just run out of your car come to me into my arms and tell me you had made a mistake and you love me that's on it I was like do it come on come on and then the other half of me was like Please, fuck off. Just leave me alone. Anyway, he did the latter. He drove. He drove away after a while. And I, uh, and I just had a really sad night here alone. And I, I watched like TV and I texted a couple of friends and I tweeted you guys, which in hindsight I probably shouldn't have done. But the reason I did is because you're so, 
you're just always there. When shit goes wrong, I don't think you understand. A lot of YouTubers say this. They go, oh, you guys, you're always there for me. You're always so supportive. Like, in a moment like that, when I can tweet to say, hey, guys, I'm feeling a bit shit. Um, I'm heartbroken, which is, like, what I said. Um, you were just great. You really were. You helped. So thank you for that. You are literally like my online family. Um, so right now, I am back on the market. <laughs> I just feel like maybe I was too upfront, too available, too fucking nice, too like pretendy boyfriendy, and always like, you know, supportive. I, like, I don't play the game. I'm 25 years old and I'm just sick of having to play the game. You know where you have to second guess when you're sending a text message. Oh, maybe I should leave him wait for a few hours. Let him simmer. Oh, maybe I should not put an X at the end of that text. Or maybe I should, um, I should pretend I'm dating other people to keep him on his toes. All these fucking games. I'm done with it. I did it before and it doesn't work. It just makes your head go in a loop to loop and, and second guess yourself and where you are and what you want. And they are none the wiser either, so everyone's left in the dark. I just... But it's, it does seem now after this happened, it's like... So playing the game doesn't work, but then also being 100% yourself doesn't work. But I'm gonna stick to the second one. I'm gonna be myself. That's the update. Um... So you can apply for uh, the, the position of boyfriend down below. I'm, I'm joking. Like, look, I, I know he'll still be in my life somehow. I don't know, maybe as a friend down the line. But Ben, you know who you are. Thank you so much for those lovely three and a half months. It was fun. It was, it was interesting i learned stuff about myself during it which i thought i already knew but i didn't and i think you're gonna have a lovely life in the new direction that you're going in and uh yeah i think that you will find someone that you like and that does make you feel drawn to them and it is important to feel drawn to someone otherwise you're just lying to yourself so yeah that's that do you have any weird, horrible breakup stories about heartbreak? How did that make you feel? Um, you know the feeling, I'm sure. It's like, once it happens, you can't do anything to get rid of it. You just have to let it run its course. You just gotta battle through it like a, a cold. And it will just get less and less and less intense and less painful. And I am hashtag husband goals, just saying. I know I am. <laughs> So thank you for your support again and um, please leave absolutely no hate about him down below because he's a good guy um, and he's an honest guy so uh, we don't want any of that. I love you guys, I genuinely mean it, you're always there and um, this is just part of the story of my life, this is just part of the journey and how lovely will it be when I find my, my, my lover, my boyfriend that in five, six, seven years, even a year's time, I can look back in this video and go, wow, a lot has changed since then. So onwards and upwards. And I will chat to you in a couple of days with a happy video, a funny video. Good. Have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye.